Crossroads as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You're going to see it on the right-hand side, Mastering Probability. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve has a huge amount of tools on the newsletter page with directions of how to use them so you understand how Steve looks at the market each and every day. Steve Rose, what's going on? Well, good to be back with you. It's been a uh, kind of a respite the past couple of weeks. I guess one one was holiday, and then uh, last week was just so sick. There was just no way I was going to come out. That's here a beautiful with you, so. thing that you're back. That's right. Yeah, I yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would not say 100, percent but uh, but okay. I am back. You know, and that, and that it is good to be back with you. We could talk sports uh, for this entire segment. We won't. I know. But, <laughs> you know, but whether it's golf or hockey, certainly we got you know the hockey game. I, uh, did you, I, I assume you you, you saw the uh, I game did. Four? I did, yeah. and it's like yeah. oh boy, it's gonna be all basketball, right? It's like oh my god, and yeah. I got to go to Rory though first because if you saw that, folks, it was a two and a half foot putt, and it's like oh my god, he just couldn't do it, and it's that it, course it is hard. It, but though. It, def it definitely had break. You could see on it his did. Foot, it to did. the upside. You could see that break, so it's kind of like yeah. how's he gonna deal with that? But unfortunately, he had missed a, a similar putt two holes before so I, he had some you know bad bad webs he needed he needed to believe that uh um uh uh you know that you got to be a, a pioneer of your future not a prisoner of your past. I, i'm telling that, you right? and that's how dechambeau hit that that chip shot there's no yeah. doubt he hit that if you saw this folks he hit that with confidence man it was a crazy one coming out of the Sand and he stopped that ball, man. That was that yeah. was pretty intense, yeah. man. And yeah. and he had a putt that was not necessarily the oh, easiest. Oh, I know, either, right? I so, know, yeah, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. But I, actually, the coolest thing about yesterday's tournament was really afterwards, and uh, I happened to just I was kind of flipping between some uh, swimming uh, Olympic stuff that was yes. going on and the Golf Channel, and I happened to catch the Golf Channel just as uh, Bryson DeChambeau was coming out and being interviewed. And it was really a wonderful, good, feel-good interview. Yep. So after the interview, he kind of figured that was over. And and this, uh, over the past month or so, they've had uh, a, a player, used to, an ex-player from the PGA Tour, be more on the course, maybe try, attempt some shots, things of that sort. And uh, so they, yesterday, so this was after the Bryson DeChambeau interview, maybe about five minutes later, and uh, and this gentleman was back in that bunker with a club, and he was going to try to make that shot. And he actually did the very first time. But after that first shot, DeChambeau pulled up in a golf cart. And it was the greatest exchange. And he, he said to this he said to this player, I apologize, I forget his name off yeah. the top of my head right now. But he said, you can make the shot. He looked at the club. It was uh, basically, he said, yeah, this is the right club to use. And he hits this guy, this gentleman hits the shot and puts it inside of where DeChambeau got it. Now, the first shot that wow. the guy took, first shot that the guy took, flew over the green or somewhere. Okay. And it, it is a very difficult shot to make. But then, you know, it's like DeChambeau gave him the confidence. Love okay, it. just passed over the confidence. DeChambeau had the, you know, that was for winning the U.S. Open. DeChambeau had the trophy with him. Yep. He gives him the trophy. I raises love his it. hand, you know. It was just, it was an even better Feel good no, I so, know, and you know, it's a shame, man, because Liv seems to have uh, all the good, good players, man. <laughs> I mean, it was nice watching them. Do you know what I mean? It was like, okay, man, it's a different game, you know, yeah. and I know there's animosity all over the place, but the bottom line is that they seem like they get the best players, man. I mean, you yeah, know. no, they, they do. So yeah. that was great, and, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow night yeah. to uh, see, if, see, if, see if Florida can actually go ahead and, and wrap it up. So uh, right. I'm glad that, actually glad, every, you know, I believe everything in life has happened in force. And I think for Florida residents, get that game back here. You want to win the cup on your home ice. Oh, right? man, that would right. be a trip, no doubt. Yeah. Especially yeah, for absolutely. you guys over there. You go out of your mind. That's awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. A, Florida yeah. Team, a Florida team win the Stanley Cup? I mean, I know it, that means we've done it, but it's but that's, that's right. That's amazing it's when great. you think about it. I know. No, 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 for sure, yeah. for sure. Well, we're the lower peninsula for all the states in the north, right? So all yeah. the hockey players come down. Hey, the hockey players love it. They they, go out, oh, they go, right? they you, you should 
You sh folks, I'm not kidding. You should see the fan base in Florida for hockey. I mean, it's you oh. ne you'd never know that it's 100 degrees out. <laughs> it's like, However, there, there is no fan base like yeah. Edmonton, though. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. And when they and when they do their national anthem, that's another great feel good moment. That is, I mean, even though, even though it's not ours, yeah. it's just such a cool uh, process that they uh, use out there. So we'll talk a, a little bit about the markets here. Actually, uh, yep. don't have the normal setup, uh, but what I've got on our screen right now, Tom, are, are five really important charts out here. And the reason why they're really important is because each of them have topping signals. So the first one is going to be the semiconductor index. And so the pattern that I'm referring to here is called the TD9 count pattern. Okay. And in a TD9 count top, the high of that pattern must occur on either bars 8, bar 9, or the bar following bar number 9. Today for the semis, it's going to be bar number 9. It's going to, and that's going to confirm the pattern. So we're going to have confirmed tops today in the semiconductors, the SMH, which has a different holding structure than the semiconductor index. Yes. The NASDAQ 100, the XLK, and you were talking about the XLK yep. just a little while ago, and the S&P. Now, the S&P 500 actually is going to complete its pattern today. And this is really important because the way that this pattern would get negated, folks, is not testing today's high, but closing above today's high. So come tomorrow, we'll know pretty good whether or not there is likely at least some type of short-term top in place. So I don't know what the actual close of the S&P 500 is going to be um, right now, but what folks should do is watch that high. The other uh, instruments out here, the XLK, the NASDAQ, the SMH, the semis, their high could come tomorrow. So this is just setting us up for the potential of a at least some type of retracement. I'm not talking about a major retracement. But you have to take things one step at a time. Right. Right now, the first step is, is there any kind of topping pattern that is out there? And here I'm sharing with you that there is. Now, one of the other cool things that I like to do is take a look at the equated ETFs. And yes. This chart here. Now, for this, we take a look at the ETFs. So you've got the Qs at the bottom, the SPIs, and you got the Dow Diamonds out there. So the SPIs, you can see they're going to complete their TD9 count top today. So it closes above that tomorrow, negates the signal, and says we continue to move on higher, complete the A to B equals CD pattern. That would be the next one that could come into play. And then if we got a bearish reversal candle, that would confirm a top. But if you take a look at the top row, Tom, even the, Q, the equated ETF is still not taking out its high. And I'm referring to the high from back okay. on May 23rd. Yes. There was volume on that trading day of uh, 116 million shares. So far today, we've done 85. So we're coming to that swing point light. Hasn't taken it out. If you look at the S&P 500 equal weight, the RSP, we're nowhere even close to the highs. In fact, price is trading into resistance, which would be the stock letter and change line. And that has remained to be resistance since May 22nd. Wow. Okay. 20, right? So, yep. equal, so it tells us that certainly here, we take a look at equal weighted versus weighted. All the work is being done by the heavily weighted instruments inside oh, yeah. the NASDAQ and inside the SPIs. And, and the equal weighted usually point us in the right direction. So what I'd like people to do, even if we take a quick peek here at the equity future contracts, you're going to get a TD9 count top that's going to complete tonight. going to complete in just a uh, little bit of time out there. So everybody should be watching those highs out there inside the ES Mini, just simply to give us a feel for whether or not we've really got a short-term top or not. Yeah, and I can tell you, this is really unusual in the summer that you have a melt-up on a Monday, man. This is pretty intense. Big melt-up. Yeah, big, melt big time. Listen, folks, real easy to get Stu's, Steve's newsletter, TFNN, feature content, master and probability. Steve, have a great one, a safe one. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Take care.